Oh, rapid fire. It's already been a week of doing these. Anyway, more hot BS in Geo Roly Poly Spidoli. Let me move the mic a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just had a tiny bit of food before I started. I have not eaten much today. I think if I combined everything I ate today was a bag of smart food, like a little tiny bag, a single cube of steak, and a uh Really shitty crackle bar. And, uh, you know, those things you had when you were a kid? This is probably England, I'm thinking, somewhere in Europe. I don't know exactly where. This could be Scandinavia. This could be because these flags, I don't know what these are. And I'm not going to get a good angle on them, it looks like. But just do housekeeping again beforehand. Uh, I did mention, you know, I'm going to be just trying to talk about these things with topics going into them. If you have suggestions for things you'd like me to talk about, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, and according to last video, I got don't talk about yoga, so I won't talk about yoga anymore. Point taken. Will not be brought up again. Um, I'll do a plug because I want to. I do have, get me, get me, get me these. I need these, these trash cans. Uh, this feels Scandinavian to me. Plastmas. It's a shitty Christmas. Um, I might as well just put this over here for now before I forget. Uh, we'll say there. Not entirely sold on this being those places yet. Um, I've talked in the past about paintings I've done. I do have a website. If I remember to do so at the end of this video, I'll put it in the comments below. But if I do not, it is... Alright, the wording on it, it's very important. It's bgdb dot me. bgdb dot me. I had to do it because it rhymes. Um, yeah, go check out the paintings there. None of them are good. I mean, I've just started doing this since, I think it's about January now. Goddamn Java, leave me the fuck alone. And, uh, yeah, I decided because I've had my stuff up, put up stuff in a show for the past couple of months. It's about to end, and I'll be moving it on to a different place for a couple of months. Real prestigious. It's a bar. But, hey, they, uh, now if I was a smarter man, this would tell me exactly where we are. Where I don't feel this is Sweden anymore. Um, I feel like maybe we're in Denmark. It could be also like this part. Like, I do not know. Are you a kitty? No, you're a doggy. Oh boy. This is. Um. Nairi. Nairi. I don't know. This isn't Poland. I'm not seeing enough to know anything, but. Yeah, go check the stuff out there. I don't have prices on anything because I honestly don't have much to charge for these things, but, you know, I'm figuring that out now. I mean, I know I get a lot of people who aren't in the same country as me who watch these videos, and I don't know about international shipping, but Jesus Christ, that might be a bit of a pain if I had to guess. Okay. Very little time left. I have to make a decision here. Uh, am I okay? I, let me... Nine seconds. Stickless. I'm going to stick with, and let's just see how close I am. Oh, it was Lithuania. All right. Fine. Fair enough. Moving on to another Scandinavian, potentially Russian guess, I guess. Um, yeah, bg2b.me. Go check out the paintings if you want to. You don't have to. None of this stuff is forced upon you. But. Uh, again, anything you want to hear, you want, anything you want me to talk about, go right ahead and put them in the comments. Because, you know, this is free form. This is more of a practice for me for talking and maybe brushing up on geography on the side as much as it, but as much as it is anything else. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, I, I, it's just an annoying thing of, I had this thing I was going to talk about. No, I do not remember it at all. 
not that important. What is important is locating where we are. This is a Volvo. I know that. Other than that, I can't tell you. If you're in this part of the world, someone actually did send me a little helpful guide to distinguish between Finland, Sweden, and Norway as far as like uh, languages go and way to d distinguish. And I did not get like the uh, Rosetta Stone like I was expecting because it was more of like a these two countries share this letter, but this country and the other country share this letter. So whenever I see like one letter, it very well could be one of two countries and I need to actually see like five or six more signs to actually have a better understanding as to where we are. But I feel that this is very much Finland. It just feels it. And I know in the past, whenever I said it feels like it, it just never really ends up that way. Maybe this will help. Yeah, I feel that I, I've got the right country. I feel I've got the right country here. However, finding Kirnujarvi and Kusilaki. You know, if I've butchered this, well, get better words. Kiru, no, that's not it. So now we're just going to sit here and uh, slowly pan around till I can't find, because there's a lot of K words here in this country. Like, I wonder if, just because this is all foreign to me, if this stuff actually, like, Karkilia is like Stone Hill or something, or Espoo is Spanish poop. Kimitun or Bromarf. I like that one. Bromarf sounds cool. Now it's just, can I see a word that's cooler than Bromarf or Espoo? I don't know. I just keep hitting the friggin' pop screen on this mic and it just bugs me. A lot of water in this country. Nerku is pretty good. Here I said I was going to have all this stuff, and I, now I've, whenever I actually like sit here and I'm about to talk, I just forget everything I was actually going to say or, or, or go into talking about. And I've, sh I'm, I've said this so many times by now that you're probably sick of hearing this too, but it's just a stream of consciousness now, and this is one of the things I liked about a certain band I listened to. Well, here we go. I've stringed things long enough that I've stumbled into at least something to talk about we're kind of along those same lines as last week of uh specific types of hobbies you have compared to other things they're very like reduce how close was i oh we were sweden all that time all that confidence didn't mean shit Ooh, dirt roads this looks like it would be fun i don't know what that is i'm just gonna ignore it because it's probably bug just stuck on the screen here this hmm, could be Canada, could be Australia, could be Texas. I'm hoping to find something here. Hmm. What is this for? Is this water? Like, the quality isn't great. I'm assuming it's water. But why is there a water thing here? This is definitely farm country. I just don't know what country this farm is in. Hello, tractor. Tell me your secrets. We're in Great Britain. Okay. All right. Is this truck? Yes, it is. He's like, all this big, giant chunk of road, and I've got to be stuck behind a tractor, slowing me down. It's just that Murphy's Law thing. I forget what uh, episode of Radio Lab it was, where they talk about the... Um, Percentage of chance of like, well, of course, the one time I go down this road, I get stuck behind this one car that has to be going 30 miles an hour, and every time to pass it, another car just happens to be there. It feels like it happens all the time. Just that, like, false sense of, uh, like, a pattern or probability. Ridge Road 230. So I'm either going to be in the right state or very far off, because it could be up there. We got this Mack truck here. This isn't helping me. This isn't going to be a very good score in this one either. And I am not 
going to get to a chunk of road or a sign anywhere that's going to tell me anything I need to know within the next two minutes. I feel it. Because this very much feels like a agricultural road that's somewhere in Alberta. I don't know. Um, there is deer here. They have deer in Texas. I don't think this is Texas. I'm bumping this up to Montana because this could be. This is going to be a horrible. Like I'm. I I say this a lot. This one even more so. I feel I'm just not going to do very well on. Unless this truck gives me something. Okay. Now I know that not every state demands you have a license plate. Oh God, timing was perfect. Um. Actually, I can look, because I know that, I believe, Canadian vehicles do not need inspection stickers. Like, uh, in the U.S., you got to get your vehicle inspected every year to make sure it's still actually, like, roadworthy. It's, it's just not spewing smoke and, f like, exhaust and just nasty shit out into the air. So maybe I'm going to nudge it there, but also not every state has their uh, inspection sticker in the same place. Like some is directly below the uh, rear view mirror, some are in the bottom corners. I'm taking a lot of like assumptive stabs here, and it's probably not going to pay off. But this is flat, long, and maybe Canadian. Um. This sign may help, although I doubt it. Carman Gay. Okay. This turns out to be like Australia. I'm going to be very surprised. And, oh, this, we're in a different, okay, there are seasons here. Uh, we're getting next to a, like, I feel, it's road, but you really can't tell. This is potentially winter, which makes me feel like I got the country right. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'm going to take time out of my... Mm. I shouldn't have hit the button so fast. Now I'm just handicapping myself here, but this is probably Russia. I've actually started getting into... I used to hate kombucha. I don't know if anybody really knows what that stuff is. I'll just fill you in real quick. It, it's potentially icky gross. Um, like probiotic, whatever you want to, okay, this tells me nothing other than it's just Europe. I don't know where it's like some probiotic tangy, almost vinegary, but you can mask it. Like the first time I ever had one, it was, it tasted like what a gym so sock smells like to me. It was just fucking so bad. And I guess kombucha technology has come a long way since then. Cause, uh. Yeah, the one I'm, at, I'm drinking right now is this blueberry one. It's actually not bad. It also could be another sign of all my taste buds are dying, and I'm just, I could just, you know, drink lint water right now, and I would probably think it, oh, it's not bad. Well, if this didn't uh, fill me on into exactly what country we're in, <clears throat> AGR Agro. So this is at least. That is a badass picture of a wolf on the side of your truck here. We're at least in one of these two countries, I think. The problem is, one's a little bigger than the other. That looks like a fun vehicle to drive in. Like, is that cheating corrugated cardboard? I don't know, but... Anyway, started drinking it. Um... I don't say I'd recommend it because I don't know if it's an acquired taste either because I'm sure there's stuff you loved eating as a kid that just sounds weird and you're like, what the hell is wrong with me thinking this? Okay, why? Some people, I know that like people are into like customizing their trucks, but Adidas doesn't make a truck and, and they're not, I don't think they're going to be very appreciative like in the sense of Oh, I can't believe you would put that on our truck. Like, but I, it's not like, oh, awesome. You have it on your truck here. Have some free track pants or a track suit. You know, you can, it, it's not even like related to a vehicle. Like I can understand. Hey, you like, uh, 
I don't know, Opal. So I'm going to put Opal stickers on my car. That's fine because it's at least in the same like genre, vicinity, whatever the hell you want to call it of, uh, you know, liking clothing. I'm going to wear clothing with clothing brands on it, although they have it. Every, the more I talk about this analogy, the more it doesn't make sense to me. But it, it, I think that a cross brand between clothing apparel and trucking decals, I think there's a s distinctive difference between them. But maybe that's just my own brain thinking that this is unusual. It should not be on trucks. But whatever. That guy does what he wants. He owns a very big truck. I don't. So clearly he knows what he's doing. Because. Alright. I'm going to have just enough time. To see that. V-O-R-O-N-E. Vorange. We're next to Anna. I don't think Anna. That is not it. Why do I feel like I'm going to see it from here? I'm just going to hit the button. Yeah, well, I wasn't that far off, I guess. Oh, it was right. Was that it? I've instantly forgotten. And now, just like the last one, I have no... This is probably the only little bit of information I'm going to get on this... Uh, Tours Nevados, huh? Well. All right. How much can I glean from this? Not much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we're at kilometer 12 here. Tours Nevados. What's that say? That does not help me. Um, anything on the top here? No. All right. Well, let's see what this gets me because... I instantly want to say the Andes or uh, somewhere in the Central Asia. I, I have no idea. What? I just teleported again. I hate when it does this teleport thing. It throws me so far off, but whatever. We're here now. It's just very disorienting. This sign probably just says, hey, a turn. Oh, it's a U-turn. Ooh, ooh, signage. Signage. Okay, hit the button. Oh, so we're just going to teleport here. All right, so I think we're in South America now. Where? Last time it was Peru. I'm thinking like here. It also could be anywhere like this section. These are some tall mountains, though. I would like to hike. The Hello, llamas. Are you alpacas? I don't know the difference. Are you wild? I don't know. Like, I never really thought of it if alpacas or llamas are indigenous to South America. I just assume that at least alpacas are. I could very well be wrong. I mean, if we, we have any, uh, uh, aficiolamos, please fill me in. Because I'm going to forget in like five minutes after doing this what I was even asking for, but... I'll take it if you want to tell me. Well, so we're only in this little chunk of strip of land here with these weird little potholes. I'm going to sit here and uh, think a bit. It's a very undeveloped strip of road. It has llamas. Very mountainous. Southern Peru? I mean, I think at this point I'm just hedging my bets between like a central location between what it potentially could be because it could be peru all of bolivia all of chile here it could be like southern tip of chile it's just going to be a bad score i'm hoping to at least well trying to beat wednesday score i don't think it's going to happen mm. but if i think any more about this i'm just going to end up pushing it down towards the south here because i feel like this is down here, and I have nothing to base this on. But the second I've committed, and that it is actually down there, I don't know what to do. But I'm going to make my guess right now. That was farther up. 
so I was closer, but not a good week. I think I had a stronger Wednesday, but again, I haven't done this in a while. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming back again. We got a week down. And I said before, I'm just going to be doing this for now. If I want to do any more, I'll think about it, but we'll just take this one week at a time. And, uh, yeah, once again, you got any suggestions for things you want me to talk about? Anything that you, like, what's your thought on, well, I've already said tacos or whatnot, but, yeah, you got anything that you want me to talk about? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll come to stuff next time. But, hey, any and all input is appreciated. So, for all of us here, to all of you, at least have a good weekend. And uh, we'll come back on Monday. Try some more of this. Goodbye.